Welcome back to the channel. Feeling cozy today. Today we're going to go over some Gilded Aspects, what they actually are. So we know with Season 13 coming out and the trailer that was released yesterday, we have these Gilded Aspects coming to the game, which are recolors of Mythics at a base level. You know, which is leading to Kiriko getting four skins next season. Four! But let's go over Gilded Aspects. So these are what the Gilded Aspects look like. Here's a few of them on screen now. They're these sort of black and gold sort of recolors for Mythic skins. Now, personally, I think they look really sick. But what we need to discuss here is how are these going to be earned? Are they going to be earned? Or do you have to pay for them? So we've got a little article here for sort of the blog post about Season 13. So regarding the Battle Pass... To maximize your dark magic and unlock exclusive rewards, the premium battle pass offers a magical path to some of the most coveted treasures. With 80 tiers of rewards, including up to 80 mythic prisms, so we're not getting any change on that. The premium battle pass allows you to unlock mythic spellbinder widowmaker or the upcoming mythic deliverance soldier 76 weapon skin, which releases the 12th of November. And for the first time, you can enhance your fully maxed out mythic hero skins with the prestigious gilded aspects from the mythic shop, launching with sleek black and gold color variants. For those looking to push the limits of customization, future seasons will expand these aspects to include mythic weapon skins. Additionally, conquering premium battle pass tiers will offer five festive legendary costume skins, including Bog Witch Anna, Necrotic Witch, Junker Queen, Witch Bane, Sojourn, Gnome, Torbjorn, and Monstrous Sigma, all designed to bring a spooky Halloween flair to the battlefield. So, how do we get these good little aspects? Well, we obviously earn them through the mythic shop, which I'm going to assume they're going to be costing us mythic prisms which is pretty ridiculous how all these skins have been out and now they're gonna make you pay for some more colors for your mythic skin there's no mention of being able to earn them through challenges through gameplay it was more so just you know they're in the mythic shop yeah yeah you can buy them so i can guess they're gonna be 10 mythic prisms like every other upgrade which man they need to be given more more of these prisms if this is the way they're gonna go because they're gonna start losing people over this stuff, man. Because as cool as it is, it's not, again, content. It's changing the color palette on a skin that already exists. And if you're not able to earn them, you're gonna start losing people. The way I see it is there's not enough, I guess, reward for the amount of substance there is when it comes to these mythics. So you get 80. So it's either one full mythic skin which you know is probably what everyone wants they want the full mythic skin you don't want to just have a partial mythic or you can get a full mythic weapon which shouldn't be the full price of a full skin by the way where now you can either get maybe just a base level mythic and then maybe three gilded aspects maybe halfway through a full mythic and then a gilded aspect for someone else and look before people come here and like the game has to make money somehow I know the game has to make money somehow, but the game should not be trying to make money through forcing people to buy stuff out of like FOMO or whatever. I think the game would happily make more money if they put just a little more care. And I'm not saying this is not, not Team 4 not caring. I know it's execs. I know it's Blizzard higher ups. I know it's all that. I know. I know they're just pushing for heavy monetization. You know, Call of Duty's gone the same way. I, I, like, I know they're just pushing for that. Just skins, skins, skins. But I really hope, you know, I'm always am. I'm always going to hope that we get some sort of update for this stuff. That we can earn a lot more of this stuff through playing. Because that's what Overwatch 2 lost that Overwatch 1 had. It Overwatch 1 had that ability to play and earn. It gave you incentive to play. You could put a few hours in and you could get what you wanted. You could get the cool stuff that you, you really wanted. I'm not necessarily asking for more content. I don't need the game to be an updated more. I don't need this. What I need is better content personally that's that's just what i think i think we need better content than just skins being pushed out left and right i know we got clash last season but clash is a very sort of broken game mode. it's really unfair it can be really one-sided it's not that great of a game mode i don't know i just i want stuff to be better so i'm gonna hope out that maybe we get some sort of change to the whole mythic prism stuff and how amount we can earn and stuff i doubt we ever will but i'm gonna hold out anyway but yeah with these mythic um sort of gilded aspects coming out here goes in four skins this season four she's getting the my hero one she's getting the one that's gonna be a shop skin she's getting 
the recolor of her witch skin and now she's getting the recolor of her mythic that is four skins dude mercy's getting three if you're out there and you're a kiriko player i really don't see what you see in this character if you buy all the kiriko skins i don't see what you see in them but hey that's gilded aspects coming to overwatch 2 in season 13 again there was no mention of being any way to earn them it look it's looking like we're gonna have to just use mythic prisms to buy them if there's some way to be able to earn them once they come into the game i'll take it i'll take that and that's that's a pretty cool feature but if they're just straight out yeah you just have to buy them uh no they're not worth it i'm sorry <laughs> But yeah, uh, let me know what you think of the whole gilded aspect thing and how you feel about, you know, sort of the whole mythic system as of its own. But I will leave this video here. If you did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. We are pushing up to that big 1k, so any help does. I mean, any help is greatly appreciated. Hit the like button as well. Helps get the videos out there. Social medias are all linked in the description as well as ways to support me further. I shall see you in the next one. I love you.